This week on Houses and Hops, let's talk about what you need to consider when you're relocating in the military, right, Seb? Yep. Now, you've done a couple of moves with me, right? Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> no, hopefully we're not going to do any more because I've literally moved every three years, even since retirement. It's been nuts. But some of the things to, to consider is we deal with a lot of clients that are relocating. Mm -hmm. So what are the things that we've come across that people need to consider when relocating? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, first thing that I would consider, especially if it's kind of like short of the gun, like you have to get out here pretty quickly, is temporary housing because you just never know um, if you're going to need to be in a hotel mm -hmm. or an Airbnb or something like that. Um, so consider temporary housing as a short-term fix uh, while you're out here. Um, but of course, then, you know, Go on greatschools.com, start searching for the school district. If you have kids and a mm -hmm. family, start searching for great school districts in the area. Um, you know, communities, you know, what's you know what's fun to do around here. Do, and what kind of housing do you want? Do exactly. you want to look at military housing? Are you planning to rent? Are you looking to buy? These are all important factors. That Going back to the temporary lodging, that's another good one, right? There's actually a great website out there, if you didn't know, it's called uh, pcsatease.com. And it's a basically like an Airbnb for military members. A lot of people don't realize that if you try to stay in an Airbnb and it is and it's not certified by the DoD, you cannot get reimbursed for the time that you're in that Airbnb. Only hotels are. But this site, every single one of their short-term rentals is certified to be reimbursed by the Department of Defense, which is a great one, right? Yep, that is fantastic. So schools, of course, are a big one. These are all things just to consider when you're relocating. Of course, if you want a more detailed analysis on a guidance to more customize your relocation, that's exactly what we specialize here. And I do want to plug too, if you are thinking about buying, you don't even necessarily have to be here to be able to do mm -hmm. it, okay? Because we've invested in a lot of uh, great technology, one of them being called, we call it virtual realty. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much virtual reality. We have these uh, VR goggles that we actually ship to you directly. Mm -hmm. And then we have a 360 degree camera that we're able to go do virtual showings with. Um, and then just send you a link, you slap your phone in, into the virtual reality goggles and then you can literally walk around like you're in the house. Exactly. Pretty cool. exactly. All right, so now with Here at the Wharf, I'm pretty excited about this. So mark your calendars, the 24th of August, right here at Inland Wharf Brewing Company. Uh, I came out of my comfort zone and I actually wrote a, wrote a chapter in this amazing book called A Veteran's Story. So yes, if you want a copy of this, I have one chapter in this along with 29 other amazing veterans that tell their stories. Uh, we're gonna be doing a book signing right here at the Wharf on the 24th at, at I think 5 p.m. Yep. Uh, come on out here, you'll get a signed book by all of the, the authors of this book and you can enjoy some beer and some good times as well. So hope to see you out here on the 24th, and we'll talk to you next time.